Hey guys, what's going on? Carter here. This is a quick little tribute video to a knife that I have been appreciating a lot lately. This is the Chris Reeve Sabenza, as you probably know that I own. This has the Insingo blade. Just gorgeous. I've been carrying this a lot lately. And uh, it's one of those knives where I actually didn't dig it all that much when I first got it. Generally, I like big, kind of beefy, thick knives, which is funny because I usually end up carrying something like this. I mean, this is still a very big knife, but uh, a lot slimmer, thinner, and lighter than some of the others that I have, uh, kind of like this. Uh, for some reason, I'm really drawn to giant knives like this, and yet the impracti impracticality of carrying such a massive blade usually means I don't carry it all that much, usually just on weekends. Um, when I'm at work in the office and I'm wearing slacks, you know, that have the uh, straight cut pockets, I like to carry something like this. It's kind of slim. It just goes in really nice and uh, works out great. So I've been carrying this quite a bit lately, not every day in a row, but, you know, for the past uh, two weeks, I've been carrying this thing off and on and it has just gotten butter smooth. Still love this closing sound. Still perfectly centered. Lockup hasn't moved. I've opened this a ton. Starting to lose some of the anodizing on the thumb stud. It's got a few, just a couple of uh, little nicks in it from stuff, putting it down in my pocket and on the pocket clip. You know, just little marks that let me know that it's mine. I took the lanyard out. Figured I'd try it without it for a while, and I really like it. But this is a sweet, sweet blade. There's a reason why Chris Reeve is kind of at the top of uh, the list in terms of knife makers. Uh, this is just an outstanding blade, and to think that this is the original frame lock, and it's still, you know, one to be rivaled with. Uh, <laughs> it just seems like, you know, Chris Reeve perfected the frame lock, and... Everybody else is still kind of trying to figure out how to do it as good. It is just really, really nice. Um, some of the things that really impressed me with this, uh, there's no over travel, which kind of made me reluctant to get this, uh, but it's not needed. I mean, with the way this lock bar is tuned, it's not necessary. I mean, you really if you really wanted to muscle it, you could overextend it, but just in normal use, you're not going to overextend it. It's just perfect. No stick. If I had to quit buying knives and could only carry one, this may very well be it. Um, you know, but being a knife lover, new things come along and I want to carry new things. And sometimes I like to buy and get kind of lower end knives and then come back to these because <laughs> it kind of cleanses your palate I guess you'd say in between knives you, you get a little used to carrying really nice knives so it's kind of fun to carry something uh, a little lower on the totem pole and then you come back to something like this or maybe a hinderer or a strider or a custom and you kind of appreciate it all over again but yeah just wanted to share a few thoughts on my Sabenza. I think I'm going to take this out of the rotation. Maybe not this coming week. I don't know. Maybe I'll carry it a little bit more. Really nice. Definitely a knife that you appreciate the more you carry it. Um, I was not overly impressed when I got it. I thought it was nice, but I was not overly impressed. But uh, the more I carry it, the more I use it the more I have come to uh, really respect and enjoy this knife. All right, guys, that's enough. Enough Sabenza ramblings from me. You guys take it easy.